G'day, my name is Rod Sherwin from Tap for Health. Welcome to another EFT Approaches video. In this video, I want to talk to you about the personal peace procedure developed by Gary Craig, the founder of EFT. Now, I actually value the personal peace procedure at at least twenty to thirty thousand dollars because I know that's how much I spent on personal development seminars over ten years, and I got more benefit out of the personal peace procedure than I did out of all those years of seminars. So I value this procedure very, very highly. And the idea with the personal peace procedure is to make a list of all the significant events that have happened in your life. And depending on how old you are, there might be quite a few years to go back with. And you want to just make a list of significant events that you feel maybe still have some impact on you. And it could have been a sibling dying, a parent dying, a close friend dying, not only deaths, it could be getting your first job, losing your first job, getting married, it could be uh, being in school and falling off a swing, it could be your first performance on stage. And go back through your timeline, think about all these intense events, and they're usually pretty easy to find because the intensity of the emotion helps them actually stick in your memory. And you want to write these down. Now, anybody who's lived a few years should easily be able to come up with 50 or more events. Now, they're not all going to be earth-shattering events, they may be little ones, but anything that comes up. And it may help to have a calendar, it may help to think about the other sort of large punctuation marks, milestones in your life. What year did you leave school? What year did you go to uni? What year did you move to a different town? Think about those milestones and they'll help you pick out the different events in your life. And you want to write each of them down as if they were a movie title. It might be fight with dad, uh, kitchen episode, uh, car accident, whatever those events are. Uh, fight with uh, brother, all those events, just write them down. And you're gonna use EFT, the emotional freedom techniques, the psychological acupuncture, which we use tapping on acupressure points to clear emotional issues. You're gonna use EFT to clear all these emotional issues. Now, when you start writing them down, one of the first things that tends to come up is, oh my God, there's so many things I'm gonna work through, this is gonna take me the rest of my life. Well, no, it's not. And what's a really good tool to deal with that emotional elbow arm? Uh, EFT. So you might start on tapping, just looking at the whole list. Even though this whole list looks overwhelming, uh, you know, there's so much here to deal with. I deeply and completely accept myself. And do a couple of rounds on that sort of tapping, looking at your list. And as you reduce that whole overwhelm, you're already taking off a lot of those issues. Now, once you've created a list, and it might take you a week, two weeks, don't wait until you've got your full complete list to get started. After you've started writing some stuff down, pick something to work on. And maybe you've got three minutes before you go to bed on Tuesday night. Pick one thing, do five, six, ten rounds of tapping on it, reduce it down to zero, get off your list. The next night, you might have half an hour. You'll pick one of the bigger ones, the more intense ones, and you know, start with the big stuff first if you can. Get rid of the big issues, because these are the things that have really affected your life. So pick one of the big issues. Now with one of the bigger things, actually what I recommend doing is taking it off your list and putting it at the top of another page. So put it at the top of another page, do a couple of rounds of tapping on it. When you think about that issue, think about how it's changed or what the other aspect left on it is. So when you've got this issue, this might be car accident and you write it down, you do half a dozen actions, that car accident in 72, that car accident in 72, do a bunch of round of tapping on that. And then have a look at it again and go, well, you know, I still remember, maybe it was being in the hospital afterwards, right? Being in the hospital afterwards, write that down next on that page under that issue. A couple of rounds of tapping, being in the hospital after that car accident. Look at it again, what else do you remember? Oh, well it was actually the, the sound of the siren of the ambulance coming up. Good, do a couple of rounds of tapping on that. And as you work your way down the page, you're dealing with all those different aspects of that particular issue. And I'll tell you what, when you get to the bottom page, it feels really damn good, because you've dealt with all these aspects. And then you can write that off the list. And some nights you'll get through three, four things, some nights you'll get through maybe one thing or half a thing. But please persist with this, the personal peace procedure once you've ticked off all these major things that you've had through your life, your life will change, your health will change, your mental well-being will change, the way you communicate with people will change, all your relationships will change. 
That's why it's called the Personal Peace Procedure. It will change the way you think and the way you feel and the way you behave. So I encourage you to do this Personal Peace Procedure. It might take you two months, three months, four months, six months to get through it. Is it worth it? It's for the rest of your life. So I encourage you and challenge you to do the Personal Peace Procedure and I look forward to talking to you again on another one of these advanced EFT Approaches videos.